hello everyone welcome to my channel today we'll discuss on a new topic that is predatory journal and uh, publisher so what are these a uh, predatory journal and publisher and why UGC has come up with a notification or public notice on academic integrity so this uh, as you can see over here uh, the UGC notification on public notice on academic integrity why they have come up with this because uh, there has been you know incidences that have been reported that uh, many of the articles that being published are in predatory um, or let's say dubious journal and moreover it is kind of a worldwide uh, that is happening and uh, it has been reported that in India the percentage of research article that being published in predatory journal is very high so this unethical practices leading to pay and published thrust culture need to be to watch it immediately so research and innovation in involve kind of you know it need dedication and uh, a kind of a scientific way uh, for you know finding out or reaching to the truth and creation of new knowledge which uh, can lead to you know some uh, sort of contribution to the uh, socio-economic benefit uh, for go global good and it is uh, kind of important to ensure the prevention of academic uh, misconduct including plagiarism in academic writing among student faculty researcher staff so uh, responsible conduct of research safeguarding ethics and academic integrity in scientific research is extremely kind of crucial in uh, context to Indian academic community, uh, uh, they have come up with this particular, you know, uh, let's say the uh, public no notice by UGC and they, they try to ensure that the journal or conferences, you know, the researcher or the staff or the student they, they select, uh, they should, uh, you know, follow some sort of uh, standard ethical uh, policies. So in that uh, UGC care, this is to identify and uh, sort of monitor maintain you know a list of uh, quality journals where uh, you know so that you know uh, the affiliated um, you know faculty member or uh, from the you know from this uh, academician or let's say the indian academician should uh, publish their work in this uh, ugck listed journal only and uh, they in this public notice the indian academic community is informed that they must av avoid publication in predatory or let's say dubious journal and participation in predatory conferences it is further advised that they must not get associated uh, as editor advisor or in any other capacity in those journal and publisher or uh, or the conferences involved in kind of uh, fraud um, uh, that is happening or dubious way of uh, or sort of practices that are going on in uh, those journals so to so the journal those are dubious uh, or let's say um, predatory um, you know faculty or staff member should not be associated in any sort of form with those journal other than publication so any publication in predatory or dubious journal or presentation uh, in predatory or dubious conferences should not be considered for academic credit for selection, confirmation, promotion, performance, appraisal, award of uh, scholarship or academic degree or credit in any sort of form. With immediate effect, the research publication only from journal index in UGC care list should be used for all academic purposes. We'll come to this UGC care list uh, in my next video or in coming video. I will discuss on UGC care list and how you can create an account or you can register in UGC care platform so that you can explore uh, the different category that are there and uh, you can select your journal. So here uh, this vice chancellor selection committee, research supervisor guide and other you know expert involved in academic Evaluation as assessment are hereby advised that they must ensure that their decision are primarily based on the quality of the research work, not merely on just on the publication count. So, and they have to follow uh, the UGCK list or they have to, you know, take a reference of this list so that they can evaluate whether the, uh, you know, 
uh, faculty member or student they have published uh, in this index journal and uh, again uh, i have already discussed on this uh, promotion of academic integrity and prevention on plagiarism in higher education institution the regulation of 2018 so there also you can get sort of uh, you know idea what exactly we are talking about but in this particular video we are uh, we'll try to discuss on the predatory and vicious journal and why ugc has come up with this this also we have discussed and then how you are going to find out which are the dubious journal because we are talking about predatory journal so uh, if you come to this cope uh, this uh, cope website also you'll find this one uh, this is the cope website and uh, this is the ugc care that we are talking about there uh, uh, they have advised this one the first one is again uh, to follow the cope guideline or the discussion that that is there and this is uh, if you click on this link it will lead to this one so here you can have a clear idea what exactly is predatory uh, or publishing so if we uh, try to define it like a definition of it or let's say we define the predatory publishing it is kind of uh, the referred to the systematic for a uh, way of you know um, getting sort of profit uh, in uh, publication and uh, you know um, let's say in journal article monograph book or let's say conference in, in that sort of way in uh, a deceptive or kind of a you know way where they are making sort of fraud and without any regard for quality assurance so, so there is uh, you know there is no assurance of quality and that is here for profit uh, that ref uh, for profit that refer to profit generation uh, you know uh, in terms of uh, monetary sort of thing and whereas the predatory publisher are are profit generating businesses and uh, some way uh, uh, they they will not look into the non profit way of uh, you know ethical uh, working or let's say you know, towards you know some sort of contribution to the academic society or research institution and this is uh, not to suggest that uh, for profit is itself you know probal um, kind of problematic but uh, this journal exists solely for profit without any commitment uh, to you know publication ethics and or let's say integrity of any sort of kind so again uh, if we talk about predatory publishers so um, they are there to cheat the author so as to gain or to make their profit and even um, uh, if uh, if you you know want to identify which uh, are the predatory journal i will uh, show you some you know published article you can refer to and even uh, there are you know link um, by bells list also is there also you can view that link also because uh, it is up to you to you know evaluate and to select your journal uh, when we talk about globally uh, you have to look into your, um, you know, um, let's say your um, institution or your uh, country, what sort of guideline is there and uh, where you need to, you know, publish so that you'll get the credit. Like if we talk about India, we have to follow UGC norm and uh, they have clearly stated where to publish, where not to publish. So uh, if you talk about UGC care, there uh, they're talking about you can follow that guideline or, or uh, journal that are indexed in UGC care. Uh, basically those are uh indexed in scopus web of science of three category scie esci ssci so on that if you are publishing then uh, you are following ugc care and there is an again there is uh, a, a second category where the ugc care they are scrutinizing the journal and they are uh, kind of enlisting the journal based on their evaluation those journal may not fall under or index with scopus or web of science so that is also there and so that we will discuss in the next video here is as for the cope uh, they are talking about you know uh, journal they are you know uh, if those are open as a journal they are simply you know charging uh, apc high apc amount without following sort of you know guideline or let's say ethical uh, guideline or simply you know without uh, let's say peer review and uh, uh, they want to you know make profit so within a sort of um, uh, short time period uh, your article may be accepted for publication and 
um, that is where you know uh, those can be you know treated as pediatric journal so when we talk about characteristic of pediatric journal this i've already discussed in one of my previous video when we we have discussed on the transparency on um, on uh, this ethical publishing or publishing and even uh, this i will show you here also they have discussed on this 16 uh, principle of transparency which uh, a journal has to follow website name of the journal peer review process how they are following then uh, they should uh, so they should display all the information related to the governance or the management of their journal editorial team copyright licensing information author fee then process of uh, you know how they will be dealt uh, deal will uh, deal with allegation of uh, research misconduct and publication ethics all sort of in person has to be there all, all this you know how they are archiving what is the policy in the uh, open essay journal then uh, let's say they have hybrid mode of publishing or or uh, you know gold open essays option is there or not how they are um, uh, earning what is their revenue model whether they are advertising direct marketing all sort of information has to be clearly you know stated in their um, let's say in the general website or or you know wherever you know uh, they've been talking about about that particular journal so this is what you need to follow and uh, when we uh, follow this um, uh, ugc care again here uh, this is the ugc care list, list which uh, i'll be talking about later on but if you follow this one here also they are talking about you know different article has been there they're talking about the indian uh, india's first again period regional and interview with professor Fusan and uh, ugc care initiative for promotion of research integrity then publication ethics so these are there and if you go to the resources also you will find uh, on this um, you see if you come to general article then military journal here also uh, you will get all this military journal so these are these are the journals um, you know um, the published article where they are talking about which journal are listed in periodry and what to follow which uh, what not to follow on um, different discipline also the uh, there is publication that has been uh, reported over here on medical agriculture biomedical so you can follow all sort of discipline even on plagiarism periodry conferences uh, periodry publication or publishing then they have talked about um, bales list also you can i'll i'll show you if i found this you can follow also they're talking about bales list so if you simply search in google or oh, bales list so you'll get the web link there also you can find out about uh, different journals and publisher those are indexed uh, in the Wales list so it is up to you to you know judge and select and then to proceed with uh, your publication uh, so this is about uh, uh, predatory journal and uh, predatory publisher and uh, um, you can follow this uh, guideline also because uh, these are standard guideline uh, if you are you know uh, you want uh, to follow at your you know country you can do that and uh, thank you for watching this particular video and uh, please do like and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done and thank you